The end of times in Zoroastrianism is marked by dark clouds covering the earth, drought, and an asteroid named Gocher. Even after the earth is ravaged by asteroid and the earth contractions, still the armies of Ahriman with his generals, greed, lust, lie, and heresy will surround Ahura Mazda, the last savior and the little ensemble of faithful. Hi, my name is Feridun Kian and I am excited to take you to a quick tour of the earth at the end of times and hope to prepare you for this horrible time, assuming you are a sinner. The last savior in Zoroastrianism is Toshiant Asvatoreta, who will be born 3000 years after Zoroaster's birth, around 2360 AD. The Dark Days, the dark days and Drought and It is said that the asteroid Gocher will race in the celestial sphere and pass by the moon crashing into Earth in the midnight. In this ambush, the Earth will be devastated, such as a flock of sheep when a wolf falls upon it. The earth will contract in pain the whole day and the dark clouds will rise in the skies and cover everywhere as if Ahriman has emerged once again. Then the fire and halo will melt the rocks in the mountains and the lava will flow on this earth like a molten river. The scorching river will run over the whole population and then all men will pass into the molten river and will become pure. When one is righteous, it will seem to him as though he would swim in warm milk. But the wicked, the wicked could not thread in molten steel to get to safety. The last sailor. Sushyant Asvatireta. The last savior is Sushyant in the old language. He will be born from a virgin bathing in the lake Hamu, and when he is 30 years in age, he will come into consultation with Ormozd, and this will be the time for restoration of the earth. For 15 years, Ormozd has forbidden the faithful to have children for such a day when the world will be restored. Before the Sushyant began on awakening the dead, on his authority, an army will be mustered. They will go into battle with the armies of the demon heresy. First, he will seek out heresy alone and asks the demon, do you have any reason or justification for creating doubts in people's minds? I am the offspring of Ahriman, the spirit of doubts. Will he ever need to justify his work? No, he will not. The Sushyant will perform a Yasna prayer before facing her for battle. But that demon will slip away to the place where it is now. From that place, it will slither back to earth and it will slither over this planet on the fourth uppermost sides of this earth and the uppermost one-third of the sacred land of Iran. As heresy enters the deep caves, the earth will cry out to Ormozd. I cannot endure its habitation in me, for it seizes me with a horror that brings me to tears. This monstrous demon tears my belly as a wolf that tears the belly of a sheep to snatch her young. And the Savior commands thus, Go forth, you Mazda worshippers, and seek the remedy for this.
and that demon of heresy will slither from that place, it will go to another place where it is now. And then it will fly toward Gozer of the moon and will tell Gozer, I've seen down there those believers of that creator, whom I'm not going to name. They want to throw the book at us, the storybook that they made up and memorized. Something called a Moshoko Domazada. They want to herd us like cattle. They are planning to inflict harm on us. Will you allow this? I will not. And it will then slither off at once from there storming toward the earth with her little army. And here, the faithful will know that prayer is the only weapon against these demons. Thus they perform a yasna, and their prayer pierces through the demons' heads who cannot stand to hear the good words in their ears, and they seek sanctuary in craters of the earth. And then Shahrivar will release molten metals into that crater, and it will chase after them right into hell. The demon heresy will tail spin to the bottom of hell, like a stone and crashes down, shattering into pieces. Or most will then descend and stand next to Sushyant. He will begin renovating the earth. He will summon blood from waters, bones from the earth and hair from the plants and the spirit from the wind. He will mix one with the other and he will create the form that it has in this present life. And the earth will be all renovated and refreshed when Ormost ascends to the sun track. The Sochiant will perform one yasna and will raise one fifth of the dead. With the second yasna, a fifth. With the third yasna, a fifth. With the fourth yasna, a fifth. And once he has finished his fifth yasna, he will raise all the dead. Each person will rise up from the spot where his or her life had departed in this world. Then all mankind will stand at this time. In that assembly, everyone sees his own good deeds and his own evil deeds. In that assembly, the wicked who was a friend with the righteous man will complain of him. Why didn't you convince me of the good deeds which you practiced yourself? If you who are righteous did not inform me, then you need to suffer the same on this day. Afterward, they set the righteous apart from the wicked and then the righteous are led toward heavens, and the wicked are cast down to hell. This is a sorrowful day for many when the righteous is parted from the wicked. The tears from everyone runs down their cheeks. When after they set apart a father from his son, a husband from his wife, a brother from his brother, and a friend from his friend, they suffer and they weep. The righteous ones will cry for the wicked, and the wicked ones weep for themselves. For there may be a father who is righteous, and his son a wicked. And there may be a brother who is righteous, and a brother who is wicked. They will confess, and those with grievous sins then they will be thrown to hell for three days when the punishment of 9,000 years will be shown to them in those three days. And after three days, when they are rehabilitated, they will come out and every person will recognize others saying, This is my father. This is my brother. This is my family. This is my wife. The savior, Sushyant, will select 15 young men and 15 damsels to help him with the resurrection. Then Sushyant, with his assistants, 
perform a yazesh, the ceremony, in preparing the dead, and they prepare an ox for sacrifice. <laughs> After prayer over the fallen ox, they make a life potion from his body 